and today we are going to see step by step how to install Proxmox which is a open source virtualization management solution for servers and I'll be using this one right over here and basically will allow us to after this step be able to install Home Assistant, Plex, MB, PFSense, OpenSense, OpenWRT and a lot more. So we are going to open a world of possibilities at the same time on our mini computer. Now, basically, this is the beginning of something really interesting. By the way, if you are watching this video on your Windows computer and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you will be able to find official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen, you will get an extra discount. So just in case, I will leave the link down below. Now, what we are going to need, we will need any computer that we want to install Proxmox. In my case, as I said, we are going to use the Zima board. I'm using as storage this NVMe from Sabrent, the Rocket Q4, 2 terabytes, which is a killer for this system. And we also need a USB thumb drive. Basically, this is it. So let's start. First step, let's go to Google and search for Proxmox. Once we find the website, let's go to Downloads, Virtual Environments, and then we will find the ISO images. In this particular case, at the moment of the recording, the most recent one is the 7.4 ISO, which was the one that I did download to my computer. Next, we will need Rufus, which you already know if you follow the channel. And if you don't, you should follow the channel and you should as well know Rufus. Just search on Google, you'll find it. And the latest version at this moment is 3.2.2, if I'm not mistaken. We just need to download it and that is it. We have everything that we need. Now let's execute Rufus. And once we have it open, let's select the USB drive that we want to use. Select the ISO image of Proxmox that we just downloaded and let's press on start and then just confirm that we are okay deleting all the content that we have on our USB drive and after a couple of minutes that is it we have the USB thumb drive ready to install Proxmox on our machine. Now in my particular case I just need to put the USB drive right over here on the Zima board you can put on your Zima board as well or on your computer and boot it up. Once we boot it, we just need to go to the BIOS settings. Now to do that, you need to press delete or F2. Once we are on the BIOS, we just need to go to the end where it says save and exit and select boot override. And on boot override, we just need to select the USB drive that we just inserted on our computer. Once we press enter, we will get into the installation screen of Proxmox. We just need to select install Proxmox VE and the installation will start. We will see some code on the screen, but we don't need to pay attention to that. Then we will need to accept the license and to select the drive that we want to install Proxmox. In my particular case, as I said, I did select the Sabrent Rocket Q4 2 terabytes. Press next. Select the country, time zone and the keyboard that we are using. We will also be able to select the password that we want to use as administrator and then we will need to select our email. I just placed an email just as an example. Press next. We will have to choose the host name or we can leave it by default which in my case was pve home. We will also be able to select the IP address, which the system will give us one based on our network. And in my particular case was 192.168.1.199. I could select any other IP, but I was okay with this one. So I just left it and press next. And on the following screen, we will have the summary of all the configurations that we want. And we just need to press install. Now at this moment, it will take a few minutes to install. So just grab a glass of water, a coffee or something like that. And once it finishes up, it will show for a few seconds the summary and it will restart. Now once it restarts, the only thing that we will see on screen basically is the IP address that we have selected 
previously and at this moment I'm okay to unplug it from a display because I will no longer need a display. The only thing that I will require is to have my computer connected to the Ethernet connection and also to power and basically that is it because I want to access from any other computer on my network and to do that the only thing that I will need to do is go to any computer and on my browser just type the IP address that I've chosen in my particular case was 192.168.1.199 8006 and we are inside Proxmox or at least on the login screen. Now I will write root and the password was the one that I did select while I was installing and once we do that we are now able to manage our server which is just awesome. We can see uh, the summary which will show us our hardware, the specifications and what we are using in terms of CPU, in terms of memory, in terms of everything that we have available in this particular case on the Zima board with the Sabrent SSD. And basically this is it. The installation is so easy but of course this is not enough. We will need to install other apps, other services like Home Assistant, BF Sense, Open Sense, and a lot more. But this is the basis. This is the first step on a long way and a fun way to have a different kind of device on our network, which will allow us to manage a lot of stuff. Our multimedia, our routers, almost everything that we can imagine. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.